Look at this, Fruity Pebbles donut. What are you doing to me? It's 5.30 a.m., it's pitch black, and I'm wearing my sunglasses. <laughs> it's raining, I can't see crap as it is, and then I get all these people behind me whose lights are just blaring into my eyes, especially these big trucks. They come flying up behind you, and me and this little PT Cruiser, their lights are just shining straight through my back window into all of my mirrors and laser beaming into my eyes. <laughs> Look at all the awesome fall colors in these trees. So I just pulled in here to park, and I gotta show you this. Who painted these parking spaces? Check this out. Normal size, normal size. What? This space is about three quarters of the size it should be. And I actually pulled in here in my little PT Cruiser, and it fit, but I mean, what in the world? Maslin, Ohio, Amherst Shopping Center. We used to skate here all the time. It looks like the entire end down here, just about except for the pizza shop, is pretty much shut down. I wouldn't say abandoned, but it's shut down. But I still want to explore it. In fact, there's also, right across the street here, a laundromat on the corner with a couple of other uh, retail spaces that are empty as well. If I can get over there before it starts pouring rain on me, I want to check that out too. This whole end over here used to be a bank. You can obviously see the drive through there. Not sure how long they've been closed down, but the inside looks like they've been doing a little bit of construction or they at least deconstructed things. Let's go look in the window. I'm thinking this behind me used to be a Bordner's grocery store. Man, we used to rail slide these yellow curbs out here for days. Now I can't remember what was in this area right here, but there's some steps you can see right there, the railing that go down. There used to be a Shrox Gifts down there, like a craft store, and there was some kind of an art gallery down there as well. I've always loved these huge display windows in these old buildings. If I had a store at a place like this with enormous display windows, I can only imagine the kind of stuff I'd have in there. Look at the old cobblestone carpet in there. That's exactly what was there back in the 80s when we used to come down here. Right in here is where Schrock's Crafts was. We used to go in there and shop for things for, like we used to build these trains. We had 
four by eight train tables that we would build end scale trains and we would go in there and look for things like uh, like modeling clay and plaster of Paris to build things like the tunnels. Now somewhere along this line there used to be a walkthrough and I think it was right about here where now it's a like a walk-up pharmacy for Marks, but it used to be a walk-through that you could actually go through to the other side of the building. Look at the wood plank ceiling throughout here. That's really cool and so descriptive of that time period. Man, this is like torture for me right now. Walking down to this end, you can smell these fresh baking donuts. I'm dying. And this is why, right here. This place is absolutely delicious. Don't worry, I'm not gonna buy any. No, 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 Okay, so if you guys are ever in Maslin, 1411 Amherst Road in Amherst Shopping Center, remember peace, love, and little donuts. And this place on the corner here, China King, has the best General Tso's chicken I have ever had in my entire life. It's only like 4.50 at lunchtime and it's way more than you ever need. This end down here, it looks like this place is closed right now. It's an old beauty shop. And right beside it here. Amherst Nails on the corner here. That used to be a barber. That is the place I got my very first thrasher cut. I remember I had it buzzed all the way around, real close, and real long on top, hanging over to one side. I remember the hair like sticking like Velcro to the buzzed part as the guy was cutting my hair. And he was like, what are you doing to your head, kid? shut down as well. I'm not sure why the banks in this area are shut down, but what I came over here for was this right here. This used to actually be a VHS rental place, and it was owned by a guy who I went to school with, and I can't think of what it was called right offhand. I'm pretty sure it was just the one on the end, but it may have extended into this one beside it. When I first moved out on my own, this is the laundromat I used to come to all the time with my wife. It seems when I was going here they were open a lot later than 9 o'clock because I seem to remember being here at like all hours of the night and being afraid I was going to be robbed or something. Like if I'm washing my clothes at a laundromat, chances are I don't have much money for you to steal. I hate to keep saying it because I didn't do any research on the place. I just stopped by here on the way home. But uh, 
this looks like it may have been a barber shop at one point too just going by that little raised floor in there the checkered floor I just love the architectural design of that time period just a quick shot of the back of the building here before I finish up um, right here that's actually the back door to where I said there was a walk through to the front and as you can see they have it bricked off now but we used to go through there and skate through there all the time actually I, 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 I,